Hi friends, it's good to uh, come to you on this Wednesday and nice to be outside. We're sitting in the area where we have the outdoor worship and so I want to invite you to uh, come if you haven't to experience that. It has really uh, been a wonderful gift for us to be able to gather together outside and worship in this uh, wonderful creation that God has given us. It's just a, a sanctuary in itself here. And I also wanted to in, encourage you uh, along the lines of worship that if you can get back to coming in person, I think it makes uh, a big difference. People, as they return uh, in person, make that comment almost weekly. I hear somebody say they were so glad to be in person rather than online. So let me encourage you along those lines. And I wanted to just share a pastoral word uh, with us this morning about uh, the losses that we have experienced and continue to experience. It's not just the uh, grief that we have when people uh, pass on or die, um, but there are a lot of things that we have been giving up or uh, losses that we've experienced in this season and, and will continue to experience. It's a part of life, dealing with that transition of, of losing something and beginning new. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking about even this week for Van and me, uh, Peter and Virginia graduate on Friday from high school, our last two kids uh, finishing that chapter of their lives. And while it's a great celebration, already we've begun to realize um, we're excited for the fall when they go away to college, um, but the end of this chapter is grief. It, there's grieving that happens. It's not negative, it's just the reality of recognizing and sensing your loss. So uh, I want to just uh, offer that as a word of encouragement for people who are going through transitions, who are starting new chapters and therefore concluding old chapters. Again, it could be uh, as serious and terminal as life and death. It could be as normal as graduation and new chapters. Weddings are the things that happen like that. Uh, new jobs and moving places, all of those things are exciting new beginnings, but also uh, reality is that they have a, a conclusion part, which means there's an ending or a loss or a grief. And it's not easy to always recognize that, but uh, let me encourage you uh, with this word uh, of God from Philippians 4. It's, uh, it's a familiar uh, verse, but I want to read the context. Paul's writing to the church in uh, Philippi. He says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I love that phrase. I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. And here's the verse we all know. I can do everything through Him, through Christ, who gives me strength. So I wanted to put that verse in context. The, uh, the Apostle is telling us that Christ is his strength when he has plenty and when he has want, and that that's the secret of contentment. Knowing Jesus, walking with Jesus, and realizing that Christ is with us in all situations and in every circumstance, when we're hurting uh, and when we're rejoicing. Uh, all of those places, all of those spaces, uh, Christ is with us. But I also wanted to uh, reflect the fact that Paul is writing here to say thank you to the church uh, that they had a concern for him. In fact, the very next verse, 14, says, Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. So there's a, a practical reality of the church, the body of Christ, sharing in life with one another, even and especially perhaps in our time of trouble. I thank God for the witness of Elfenwild Church and that we do walk together 
through the valleys where there are troubles as well as come together in joyful celebration and thanksgiving to God. And if you can use some encouragement, please know that we're here. Love for you to reach out to us and let us know what your need might be so that we can renew our concern for you uh, if there's an opportunity to do so. One last word, Vacation Bible School is coming next week. Please pray for the staff and for the children who will come. Uh, I ask you to pray that you would prepare the hearts of those children to hear the Word of God and not just hear it but to receive it. That it would change their lives and set a trajectory for their life of serving God and loving the Lord, uh, especially if they're young. That will change and transform who they are and all the years that are ahead for them. We love you. Uh, we do miss seeing many of you. And uh, please know that we're here for you. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.